For the past 13 years, the tenants who are occupying the Mormogao municipality flats have not been paying their rent of some false pretexts. The defaulters include some of the prominent citizens of Vasco. Now that the municipality has decided to crack the whip, it is to be seen whether the law will finally catch up with these notorious rent defaulters, even as the areas have climbed up to rupees 5 crore. It may be recalled that of the 620 odd municipal premises that have been let out, more than half have not been paying their rent for the past 13 years or so, on some stating that the rent has not been sanctioned by the Directorate of Municipal Administration, even as the Comptroller and Auditor General report has been routinely raising this issue of non-realization of rent, which these citizens have been shamelessly ignoring. The Chief Officer of the Mormugao Municipal Council, Gopal Parsikar, has decided to crack down and make these routine rent defaulters pay what they owe to the municipality since 1997. Talking exclusively to Goa 365, Chief Officer Parsikar informed that the tenants raised their objections, saying that the Department of Municipal Administration had not approved of Rs 25 per square meter rent. He, however, said the rent had been finalized by the Directorate of Municipal Administration and going rate is around Rs 500 per square meter. They are saying uh, Rs 25 is not approved by DMA. But as per my knowledge and as per, per, per the records of Vasco Municipality, we have the approval from DME for the increase of Rs 25 and 20. He further informed that around 620 tenements had been given on rent and the majority of the tenants have not been paying the rent. He promised to seal the premises if the tenants did not pay before their notice period expires. Around 620 tenements are given on the list. Uh, and out of that, most of the people are not paid the rent from 1997 onward. Uh, we have started issuing notices to them. Then we are issuing Form A and Form B. If after issuing Form B, we will give 15 days time. And if you are not paying the uh, within 15 days, then we are going to seal the premises. The list of defaulters virtually looks like a who's who of Vasco, which includes ordinary citizens doctors, politicians and even businessmen, all using their influence to avoid paying petty rentals to the municipality which is struggling to carry out its routine activities. Even the chairperson of the municipality is gung-ho about the rent collection drive and promise not to politicize or politically compromise rent collection. Yeah, my full support is there. I am there with the chief officer. He called a party for discussion and it is a long pending issue. If uh, all the shop owners, if they come for a settlement, if there is any terms and condition, we put them. And if they agree to pay, it is well and good. It will be helpful, it will benefit the municipality. What remains to be seen is whether the chief officer's drive will yield the desired results, that is, the much-needed cash resource for the municipality, or end up in a fiasco.